wash over me, lead me far from my surroundings. Take over me, over every rushing memory, if only for Today we have come together to witness the joining of these two lives. For them, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are finalizing it with their wedding today. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and it is their desire to love each other for life, and that is what we are celebrating here today. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. And it is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Or to see the other side, show me where to go. Oh, this could be my last chance. I see you run to me, and there's no telling what you'll find here. Bear it underneath if you look any further than. Storms appear and lines all fade in time. Oh, this could be my last chance. Be in the grip of your arms, far from where I know, or to see the other side. He's not perfect, and you aren't either, and the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, cause you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give you the most you can. He isn't going to quote, quote poetry. He's not thinking about you every moment, but he, will not, but he will give you a part of him that he knows you could break. Don't hurt him, don't change him, and don't expect for more than he can give. Don't analyze, smile when he makes you happy, yell at him makes you yell at him when he makes you mad, and miss him when he's not there. Love hard when there's love to be had, because perfect eyes don't exist, but there's always one guy that is perfect for you. Cherise and Ricky know that there will be challenges to overcome and obstacles to surpass, but together they are stronger. And today they vow not to give up on each other, themselves, or their union as they face the future. They have invited you all here to celebrate because you have had a hand in the creation of their story. 
Whether you are family that has supported their relationship, friends that have helped to create countless memories, you all have a sentence, paragraph, page, or chapter in their book of love. They would like to thank you for being an integral part of who they are as they embark on this journey together as husband and wife. Before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge the loved ones who are no longer with us. We feel their presence with us today and take joy in the knowledge that they would be thrilled to see this union. I give you this ring. As a token of my abiding love. As a token of my abiding love. A sign that I have chosen you sign that I have chosen you above all others above all others and a symbol of all that I am and a symbol of all that I am and all that I have and all that I have I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my abiding love. As a token of my abiding love. A sign that I have chosen you. A sign that I have chosen you. Above all others. Above all others. And a symbol of all that I am. A symbol of all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. May all that you are always be in love. May all that is love always be in you. May your love be as beautiful on each day you share as it is on this day of celebration. And may each day you share be as precious to you as the day you first fell in love. May the challenges life brings your way make your marriage even stronger. And may you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. Now that you have joined yourselves to each other by solemn vows and the giving and receiving of rings, I do now by virtue of the authority vested in me, pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal your promises with a kiss. Please rise and help me celebrate the new couple. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. I tried to beat you, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. This and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't. It's a heart, hey, no more, no more It cannot wait, I'm yours
has taken you to many places. Our friendship started off with trips to Penn State, horseback riding in Jamaica, scaling Blarney Castle, and getting lost in Paris. But there has always been a home base for you, and that is Ricky. He is your rock, the man who will always be there to help fix your car, to help take care of your beloved Aries, and hopefully pull us out of swamps. <laughs> the last decade has brought all the ups and downs any relationship goes through, and it is a strong testament to the love you have for one another that you made it to this beautiful day. There is absolutely no one else on this earth that I would want for my best friend. With Ricky, I know that you will be safe, you will be whole, you will be happy, but most of all, you will be cherished. The devotion the two of you share for one another is inspiring and will be a light that will guide you down the new path that you are traveling together as one. So everyone, raise your glasses and help me congratulate the newlyweds. First of all, on behalf of the happy couple, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and celebrating with us. Sharice, you look lovely as always. Ricky, we're really glad you just woke up before 5 p.m. and you made it out here. Um, if you didn't know, I flew in from Germany yesterday in order to be here tonight. It was a long flight. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very long flight. It felt like I was on that plane for a decade, which is still less amount of time as Sharice has waited for this day to come. I first met Ricky in 2002. Uh, I rode a different school bus that day for some reason, and I'm still questioning why I rode that school bus and if it was a good decision. Uh, but our relationship began in the era of burnt CDs and lime wire. If you're under 25, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but back in the day, that was the thing. You hand CDs off, new CDs. Uh, from the first day when he handed me that burnt, disturbed CD, the romance began. From there, we bonded over fixing things, which is good for me, because I like to break things, and Ricky's really good at putting them back together. Uh, and if you've never seen Ricky's garage, you know, if you've ever seen Ricky's garage, you know he likes to tinker, just pull, pull to the brim. But I'm pretty sure this wedding is the only thing that I've seen to completion. I'm really happy to be here. But over the years, I helped put, helped put two or three engines in his cars, and miscellaneous things and he's taught me a lot and one of the things that I've learned is you can never use too much electrical tape. Right Ricky? I once shorted out a brand new part in his car because I didn't use enough electrical tape. I'm never going to live that one down but it's a good lesson to learn. Uh, but he's a pretty much a modern day MacGyver. Anytime I need help I turn to Ricky. Except this one time. This one time a couple years ago driving back to school we both like to drive at night so it was night time. I passed Ricky's type of car on the side of the road. I called him up. I said, is that Ricky? There's no way. Ricky Wilson broke down on the side of the road. So I called him and it was. Turns out he got a flat and we had his lug nut key so one lug nut couldn't get off because he forgot it at home. Ricky move. Ricky move. So after 30 minutes of pounding a smaller socket wrench onto the lug nut, I saved the day. So in front of all your friends and family, I, Eric Brown, save Ricky in a, in a moment. 
No, but seriously, I couldn't ask for a more loyal friend. He's got the biggest heart. Uh, I'm sure he's fixed something of yours ever you needed it. He's picked people up from jail, helped people go to the hospital. We've all been there. Uh, but in the 17 years I've known Ricky, he's always happiest when he's with Sharice. Uh, behind every great man is a great woman. In this case, behind every late man is a woman rolling her eyes. And her name is Sharice. Sharice, you're a saint. I don't know how you work at the NICU every day, dealing with screaming, crying babies, and come home to Ricky. Maybe that's why you did the traveling nurse program. I don't know. But all kidding aside, I'm very honored to be here. So very happy day. Thanks for having me.